Hi everyone, my name is Sandra Fondufe. I know you've been saying this everywhere, I am Yefon, and you're wondering what does this mean? So I wanna take a small beat to explain that to you. I'm gonna define it first. It means I am young, I am empowered, I focus on myself and others, and I am nurturing. I am Yefon. So this is actually inspired by the lead character of my novel, Yefon the Red Necklace, that was written so many years ago. But you know, the lead character is a very powerful, strong-willed girl who finds herself in a place where women are not educated and then she's able to, by virtue of going closer to her dream, discover all of these little traits in her personality. And these traits I found over time reviewing this because, you know, you know, one of the things that I have, you know, in common with my team and, you know, when we talk as a team, we're very big on every single thing that we do has to have impact. How do you take EF on? Right, a name from the Sot tribe in the northwest province of Cameroon. Those are my people, that's the tribe I'm from. How do you take that and then, you know, bring out the meaning that students in school who are the readers of this book can use, you know, in navigating their everyday life? That's really where that came from. So, well, we're going to talk about this more as time goes on, but I just want to summarize the key takeaway points from each of those um, um, acronyms and that may help you as you walk around during your day. So why I am young? You know, what, is, what does it really mean to be young? When we talk about youth, especially being African, sometimes our youthfulness is downplayed. It seems as though only the elders have all the answers and they're most likely correct, right? For the most part, you know, we're living in a world that was created by God. And God is the oldest, most sage, the, 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 the source of wisdom for this planet. So of course he's old. And there's this phrase that people say, Melchizedek of old and how wise all these people were, you know. Yes, that's true. In the African setting, you have your the parents, the grandparents are typically a source of wisdom. So what I am saying, you know, it's, it's in twofold. It's in twofold because on the one hand, the young people are responsible for a lot of the positive change that has come to this continent in the last couple of years. You're looking at tech. Young people have driven tech, created companies that have brought in billions of dollars into the economy, not just in Nigeria, in Rwanda and all these other African countries, right? Young people are the owners of the creative industries, I mean, of course, they're the veterans, but then the young people today are very responsible for some of the things that are coming out of the creative industry. So I'm not saying that that's all of the answers. I'm saying that they are contributors. Young people can be contributors. We can be responsible. So our youth is important. Our youth is important. The fact that we are young means that we can, we can afford mistakes. Sometimes when you're older, you can afford mistakes, or that's what you're made to think. That doesn't mean it's true. It just means that it's what we're meant to think as a mindset. But the young person, they have time, so they can make mistakes. So the point I'm trying to make is that youth is a superpower. Don't be afraid of your youth. It is a superpower. Now, on the other hand, young. Just because you're young and just because your youthfulness is important does not mean that you should denigrate the old people. Because this is a, this is the other double-edged sword in this conversation. I see often that young people have a way of insulting the older people, that they have failed us in this way or that way. Yes, they didn't have all the answers. They're not correct. Nobody is God, to be honest. But there is a way to have constructive conversations. You can bring things to conversations on tables. You can talk about it and you can, you know, you can be constructive. You failed me here. You solved this. You helped me here. So yes, I'm young and yes, I want answers and I want a better future for myself and my future children. That does not mean that I need to be, to be disrespectful. That takes away the point a little bit. So in summary, I am young means that I understand, I acknowledge that my youth is not a thing to be trivialized. My youth is my superpower. Because I am young, I can make mistakes sometimes, but I can bounce back from them and I can so therefore use my life force to create change in a way that would drive so much different good stuff for myself, for my community, for the world. So my youth is a gift and nobody can take that away from me. Nobody can downplay it or speak to me that because I don't know everything, I don't know anything. Sometimes you can 
know something even if you don't know everything and i'm reminding you young person yes you don't know everything and don't try to fool yourself that you do because you don't but remember what i'm telling you just because you don't know everything does not mean that you don't know anything if we go back to the bible and you look at the story of david jonathan takes his robe off jonathan represents the older people the robe represents the emblem and he wears it on David and David assumes this new leadership role that the young people it's almost like you're, you're passing down this mantle that the young people of today are, are taking over from their older people he takes this with so much humility and after he's done goes back to his duties tending to sheep some of us don't have that type of humility when the mantle is passed down, when the baton is passed down, we want to turn around and tell all the old people how much they know nothing. This is very wrong. There is a place for humility for both the old and the young. We all need to humble ourselves so that we can learn more and we can have important conversations and we can go into the world as we are. So that's what the why means. I hope that this has been helpful. Next week, come back and I'll tell you about what E means in I am here for. Um, so how do you take Yefon, a name from the, from the, 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 okay, so here am I, here I am again, okay, let's go.